What's happening, fellas? Check out this classic. This isn't something you need to see every day. This is a Ducati 750F1 Desmo. Uh, this is basically a street legal race bike. It has the um, same engine they ran in the uh, Battle of the Twins. This thing pretty much dominated the Battle of the Twins pretty much right out of the box it could. Uh, this is owned by a friend of Junior's and ours, a local guy, who is uh, liquidating some of his collection. So bought this in, asked us to shoot a video on it. It's been stored indoors and well maintained its entire life. It has 25,000 miles on it. I don't have the work order with me. It's in the office, but he just spent over two grand, uh, maybe a hundred miles ago, getting the uh, Desmo uh, uh, Desmodromic valve train in the uh, the belt uh, drive and everything completely serviced on the bike. And I don't have the specifics on that, but I will uh, when I when I read it. I believe it has pump gas on it, in it, and it's been sitting for. Well, he doesn't ride it very much. He's, oh, he's probably in his 70s now, right? Yeah, Rich is in his 70s. He's an avid Ducati collector. We sold a 1980 Ducati 900 SS Dharma for him that sold promptly. He's probably one of the nicest uh, unrestored examples available, and so is in this F1A. This is, this is the handmade aluminum gas tank, and uh, it is unrestored, and the bike is just beautiful. In, in fact, we haven't even detailed it. We've done absolutely nothing to it. It's exactly the way it came to us. The original paint on the wheels, the original paint on the tank. Uh, this shows a little bit of patina in the side covers here with the fiberglass, but um, has a beautiful shine on it. And hey, let's face it, they're only original once. Little patina right there. Um, little patina on the motor also that could easily be touched up. We asked Rich, we said, hey, do you want to run it through the detail shop and have the guys, you know, touch up, paint the motor and, and buff and clean the whole thing? He goes, no, leave it alone. Don't touch it. He wanted to leave it 100% original. It does have the K&N pod filters on there. Um, the exhausts sound like something that should be on a racetrack, although the bike is street legal. A uh, couple, of, couple of idiosyncrasies. Um, I think because of the pump gas, it's very cold-blooded and kind of loaded up when I first started it the first day. And he said uh, he came over the next day, and uh, Billy Blythe, our resident Isle of Man, um, five-time um, racer uh, who knew a little bit more about Ducatis, took it out and warmed it up real nice. And once it warmed up, it ran on both cylinders. But I, I think it probably needs a carb clean or some fresh gas for sure. Um, Probably both, which is an easy thing to do. But it does have the full service record of everything that was just done to the motor, uh, which which will come with it. And, of course, you can call him. And if you have any questions, Junior has his phone number. Give us a call, 860-454-7024. No evidence of any crash damage ever on this. Again, uh, Rich is a uh, veteran, uh, senior motorcyclist who took care of his bikes and bought this as a collector's item. Original Marzaki forks on the front are beautiful condition brakes everything on this thing is just uh just kick-ass machine and it's a classic there's a short letter from rich in the uh, ad on ebay for the bike also uh, the, the the our ebay gallery is going to be very detailed so check out the photos if you have interest in the bike we took a good uh close examination and didn't see any areas that were repainted there's some touch up on the right side of the uh rear cowling that i'll I can show right here. This is shown in the gallery, but unrestored, guys, unrepainted, um, unrefinished. This is uh, as factory fresh as it gets. Even the original turn signals are intact. One thing I did note when riding it, uh, the brakes, uh, clutch, transmission, everything works great. The motor sounds good. This mirror right here flopped down a little bit uh, a couple times during the test ride, so I, I think there's a adjustment on the inside you can tighten it up um i'm not really sure um, i haven't had a mechanical look at it but this mirror would flop down when i was riding it and when you let the clutch out all the way um it engages perfectly makes a makes a little bit of a weird noise when you engage the clutch i'm not sure what that is but um yeah dry oh, that's true it is a dry clutch that's probably why i'm not a ducati expert by any stretch of the imagination i have owned several of them i had a D ducati super light uh, the yellow one with the uh, white number one number plate on it with a stage three kit on it. That thing was an absolute hoot to ride. 900, very similar design to this. Uh, this is, as you already know, if you're watching this, uh, this is the last year of the original Ducatis. This is before Kajiva bought them. So this is the last genuine original Ducati. And sadly, and I'm, I'm kind of ashamed to say, but I, I, when I was taking my helmet off, I dented the... Uh, my brand new carbon fiber 6d helmet took it off and dropped that on the floor and uh, dented the tank um we do have a dent magician coming tomorrow who's going to do paintless dent removal like with a set of this is very easy to get to because it's such a big gas cap he's going to take the gas cap up and, and use a little tool to pop that out 
So that's going to get taken care of. But I just wanted to show you that. If you notice that in the video, that, that should be gone uh, before the bike's listed. We'll note that in the, uh, the um, eBay ad. Junior, is there anything else you'd like to add? Check the gallery, guys. Check the gallery for the pictures, yep. I have really good export contacts, so no matter where you are, uh, call me for a quote, or I can give you an estimate as far as uh, transport uh, after import duties and taxes to your country. But the freight is relatively cheap. To summarize, it's an original paint classic owned by a veteran rider. It was well cared for, and I've got all the service records that he had for it, including a $2,000 uh, preventative maintenance he just did on the motor. So, um, by the way, the assurance, it's a classic that's going up in value. Investment quality classic. Just a gorgeous piece. Thanks for watching. God bless America. God bless Italy for making such kick-ass motorcycles.